Hey y'all, with skies like this, and roads like this, and friends in front of me like that, I knew I had to start motovlogging. I needed a good microphone, and today I'm going to review the Movo ACM 400, which I'm really liking. Okay, so I knew I was going to want to motovlog. I ride a trike, I ride with lots of other Harleys, I knew it was going to be noisy, and I was going to have a lot of wind noise. So I also knew I was going to need to probably wear a modular or a full face helmet. So that being said, I did a lot of research trying to look at a lot of other motovlogging sites to see what they were doing as it relates to uh, video, audio, in this case, which microphones they were using. Did a lot of research, as I said, you know, checked out all the usual purple pandas kitty tails you know there's all kinds of stuff out there but i read some really good reviews on the movo acm 400 flexible gooseneck microphone i purchased the microphone on my own by the way this is not a promotional video at all uh, which is why i'm showing you some of the screenshots from their product site i had done the unboxing and all that long before i knew i was going to do a video on it Anyway, I'm showing you some pictures from the site. It's a gooseneck mini mic design. Uh, it comes with a little alligator clip in case you want to clip it uh, to your shirt or to your vest or something if it's not inside your helmet. I, of course, uh, chose it because it was going to be inside my helmet, which is what I'll show you here in a minute. Really good quality design. It's really small. When it says gooseneck, it's definitely gooseneck. You can move it any direction you want. The tip on the end, you know, the felt tip. Um, I did find that it comes off very easily. I'll show you that here in, in the demo as well. But the main reason I bought it is because of the reviews I read from other motovloggers saying how good the quality was in terms of cutting wind noise um, when you were riding even at high speeds. And so that's absolutely why I wanted to give it a try. And it's very inexpensive, by the way, as well. It connects via a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack. Since I use a GoPro 8 with a GoPro Media Mod, which is not included with it, by the way, um, it plugs directly into the back of my GoPro, which is perfect. Because as I'll show you, I mount my GoPro on a chin mount in the front of my helmet. So it was very easy to connect up and again I was really excited to try out the actual quality. So again I don't want to bore you with too many screenshots from their product site but it's a very straightforward um, purchase. There's not a lot to it. The mic, the alligator clip, the 3.5 millimeter jack plugs right in, in my case, to the back of my GoPro 8 media mod. Uh, and as I'll show you uh, in just a minute here, um, I tucked it all right into my helmet. And since it's a modular helmet, I had to, you know, do the wires a certain way so that um, it worked well with a modular helmet approach. I'll show you how that looks, and then I'll show you some actual video audio demonstration. Let's do some additional footage with another camera so you can see exactly how I have the Movo microphone set up. Again, I just have it coming out right out the edge of my Shoeworth helmet. I've got the microphone on that side. This microphone on this side is for my Cardo Pack Talk. So it's a very small mic right there. Turning the helmet on the side just a little bit you can see right here is where I bring the cord out with the three and a half millimeter jack this is what plugs into the GoPro so I've got just enough cord pulled out so that as you'll see here so here's what the full mount looks like Again, I've got a little bit of the microphone cord, you know, hanging out a little more than I would have to, but I try to keep it a little loose um, just in, in case I forget because it's a modular helmet. Um, 
I've got a little bit of play uh, with the with the cord if I start to put my helmet up. And then I've got the GoPro itself out away from the helmet just enough that I can see the, I don't have it on, but I can see enough of the go, of the back of the GoPro itself that I can actually see if it's on, see if it's recording, that kind of stuff. So again, very, very clean setup, not just for the Movo microphone itself connecting to it. And it's easy to take this in and out, um, you know, when I'm stopping um, and I want to, you know, pull my modular helmet all the way up or something like that. But it's also this, this chinmounts.com mount. It's a very clean mount for the GoPro itself. Very clean mount. I like that a lot. Okay, so again, I bought the microphone because I wanted much better quality voice capture as I was doing GoPro video um, vlogging from my trike. Things get noisy. Um, I showed you some of the specs on the Movo ACM 400 microphone. I showed you how I've got it mounted in my helmet, very straightforward, and how I connect it to my GoPro via the uh, GoPro Media Mod. Now let me end by showing you some actual videos where I captured the quality of the voice um, input uh, at various speeds and various situations actually on the bike. Here's a, here's a test of the Movo microphone. We're sitting at a stop, got a bunch of bikes around me. And uh, I've uh, got the visor up a little bit. It's probably pretty loud, but it's a good test for how much background noise the Movo microphone stops. Phone test. Visor's up a little bit. Now the visor's down, 35 miles an hour or so. I think you're going to find this microphone does really, really well. Microphone test with a Movo microphone going 60 uh, with the visor down. A lot of wind noise, a lot of bikes around me. How's it sound? How's it sound? Check, check, check. Hopefully another obvious benefit of the Movo microphone, really any good microphone, but I'm really liking the Movo, is that I can give my GoPro voice commands to, to stop and start recording without me having to you know, use the app or touch the, touch the GoPro itself, which is really handy when I'm on the motorcycle. GoPros. I don't know if I did this test before on the Movo microphone, Here's a test going 70 with a really good crosswind. I got the visor down on the modular helmet. So uh, just a test doing some talking. See how well it does with all the noise I hear. See if you hear any noise on the recording. So that's it. Check, check, check. Test, test, test. Okay, there's some sample audio I did for you at various speeds, various situations. Uh, I am really happy with this microphone. I haven't used a ton of other microphones yet, but I really like this one. It was inexpensive, easy to use, easy to tuck in, really good sound quality. Um, and I'm going to buy a second one probably, so I have one uh, I can keep in my helmet and one I can keep outside of that. I hope you found this helpful. I'd love to hear your comments on microphones you've used that you liked a lot or if you've used this one and liked it or even if you didn't like it I'd sure love to hear why so uh, shoot me some comments in the comments section um, hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay current on other videos I'm putting out be safe out there and ride blessed